KPFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Wednesday, the 6th of November, day after the election. Of course, the market seems to love the uh, result. The Dow is up 1,195 of 43,415. I'm calling this at this for the moment just a leg F. It could be a brand new leg A. I have to get more reading here. We'll see how it closes. My suspicion was that if there was something like this today, we would see buying pressure strong enough to go for about two and a half days. So anyone wanting to get in had to either just grab the opening or some pullback after the opening and then let it ride and just raise your stop. And if you were short, wow, if you didn't cover at the opening, there's a chance that within a day or two, it's going to be even higher. So look at the S&P. All-time high for the Dow. S&P all-time high. Uh, spiked up to 5905.60, trading at 5883, up 101 points. Um, the candle is towards the upper end of the candle, but it's a huge gap from yesterday's close. Look at the QQQ, all time high. And yeah, that is uh, at 501.35 on uh, two weeks ago and 503.46 today. So it finally made that level above the high that was made back in July, 503.32. That's really important. And we've actually started a leg D in the week, in the monthly chart. I'll talk about that when we get back. IWM, huge move to the upside, not an all-time high. That's way up at 244.46, but then it did hit 236.75. And I've been talking about the S&P 500 with the small caps, the Russell 2000. The reason why we were along the small caps is I anticipated that there'd be some move, a catch-up move, where the small caps become favorable. And I think we might be seeing that gold is down sharply. Gold down, oh, sharply is down 80 points at uh, 2670. You're looking at the dollar up sharply. The dollar is right at the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart at 105.35, up a dollar 94. Can you imagine? That's the dollar. Crude oil. Crude oil is. Uh, down for 70 cents. I should have started off for the bonds because bonds are down two and a half points. That is really something. The yields are skyrocketing. And yet this market might be ignoring it just for the moment. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. A lot to discuss. See you in a few minutes and check out my opening call.